So growing up from around maybe five to ten, I was I was a, always wanted to be around people. But then after that, coming out of the drug situation, I then didn't want to be around people. And then around the pandemic time, I actively like shut myself away from people. And I worked all the time. I didn't want to speak to people. I didn't really want to go out. And coming here, especially people in Latin America, they're very warm. And in uh, England, a lot of people are much more colder, I would say. It's so cold there. Exactly. <laughs> it, it, it's it's with, with the climate. Yeah. But being here has made me want to connect to more people. And I've actively met people that are great connectors, like yourself. And like I've got some other friends here. And that's made me want to explore it more without realizing I wanted to explore it. But that's what's actually helped me grow as a person and get those puzzle pieces in the right places to meet the right people to, to progress in certain areas, whether that's in um, friendships, whether that's in relationships, whether that's in business, whether that's in even fitness, because I've connected with people that are more into fitness, it's motivated me to want to go to the gym even more, yeah. if that makes sense. Would you say it's more like a drug now? I mean, because you, 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 you used, yeah, you use okay. the word uh, since your addiction, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. you've shifted. And so would you say that, because I know for me, that it, it, it seems, it could have been like an addiction for me, and it still is, kind yeah, of like yeah. a, I get a little... Well, it's, a, it's a positive like addiction, a, do you know what I mean? It is, but it could also be at times one that's over-consuming, right? Yes. If you do it too much, if you're around people too much, if you take, take the need for other people being around or yeah. being able to be the connector of those people, yes. and then you kind of are left out when mm. deals are made or when people are going out, whatever it may be, yeah, it yeah. can be just with like the byproducts of having a drug. Now, I've never had a drug situation, yeah, yeah. so I'm asking maybe you would know um, since you've moved past yeah, it. Yeah. it. Are you feeling something similar in the, in the rush of, of, the, of the new relationships and the connection? I, I'll tell you what it is, and I've got a great example here. So I've got an addictive personality, period. Like everyone says, oh, you shouldn't say that. That's a really bad mindset to have. I'm mm -hmm. like, no, but I just get addicted to good things. I'm addicted to the gym. I'm, I'm addicted to um, eating healthy. I'm addicted to uh, meeting good people. I'm addicted to um, sort of posting content. Like I, I love that stuff and that helps me in life anyway. So I see it as a good addiction. I don't really like the word addiction, but let's just put it there. But ever since coming here and recently connecting with a lot of people, the last week or so, I've actively not been around a lot of people because I just said, I was like, my social clock is off. I just don't want to see people. And it's like, it's finding that balance. And when I've been on my own, it's been nice to sit there, but then there have been times where I'm like, oh, I should go and see people. But then that's where I catch myself again. And I'm like, why do you want to see people? Mm. Is it because you want to feel something or? So, so I'm sitting there and I'm sitting with my own thoughts thinking, well, do I need to be around people? Or do I want to be around people? Would you say there's a formula for I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, you've got the formula out of me. I, I'm, still, I'm still playing the game. I'm still early in the game. But well, in, in the space that you've been in right now, would you say that there's a formula if someone watching says, hey, you know, I'm where you are, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm trying to transition into a more positive space, right. connecting with more people, mm -hmm. uh, being able to share my energy with others, would you say there was a formula? Yes. Do you want to share it? I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it with you. <laughs> so it, it's actually, like, so basic, and it's actively just speaking to people. So I, I had a massive insecurity of talking to people that I didn't know, and especially women. I had a massive insecurity of just going up and talking to women. I don't know what it was. And rejection? It wasn't rejection, because I'm actually OK with being rejected. Um, I think it was, if I think back to it, it was years ago when I've had experiences in the past. And a trauma response is just when you go through an experience and then something else comes up. and my body will react in a way that goes, oh no, I'm really embarrassed, I don't want to do that. Yeah. But coming here, I'm just talking to people and I'm not expecting anything from anyone. So that's the biggest one, is I will- So no expectation. Biggest thing. So for example, I'll go up to someone, I'll compliment them. Oh, I like your hat. I, I did it, there was these two girls. I said, oh, I like your hat. And then the other friend then put her hat on. And it was like, she, like, she, like she you made, made someone feel that. good. She, she yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. So like, just drop in a compliment when it's, it's you don't need to, but it's, it's nice to do it. and. Doing those little things every day, you start to build muscles. And, and it really is like working out your biceps if you just actively say. So also, it's helping me learn Spanish. I'm going up to people, oh, como estas? How, how's your day? Like, I'm just speaking to them. And they're replying. It's not a big conversation. But the initial time of me doing it, I was like, oh, yes. Like, to, to everyone else, it's like, that's so minor. Mm -hmm. To me, back then, even like, what was that, a couple of months ago, I was like, oh, you should be proud of yourself. You, you, stepped outside your comfort zone. And every time so, you're stepping out. So the second piece would be stepping outside of the comfort yeah. zone. Yeah, and 
I would consider myself a very confident and courageous person. Now, speaking to people, that doesn't sound like it's very courageous, does it? But for that specifically, stepping outside of it, I still felt scared. So anyone that does it, you're going to feel scared. Okay. Um, and it's about, in that spite of uh, fear, is still doing it anyway. And there's been times where I actively went to do it and I got completely rejected. And I was like, oh, well, that's, that's, that's the way it goes. Yeah. And expect rejection as well. Look, there's, there's like, I can't remember who, who talks about it. It's like, look for no's. So actively go out looking for rejection. And in those 100 rejections, you're going to get 5, 10, 15, 20 people saying yes mm. to whatever it is that you're offering. And it doesn't even, it could literally just be, do you want to go out for a drink? Or what are you doing this evening? Do you know what I mean?